Joshua chapter 5 verses 9 to 12. The people of God then entered the promised land and there kept the Passover. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have removed the reproach of Egypt from you. Therefore, the place is called Gilgal to the present day. While the Israelites were encamped at Gilgal on the plain of Jericho, they celebrated the Passover on the evening of the 14th of the month. On the day after Passover, they ate of the produce of the land in the form of unleavened cakes and parched grain. On that same day, after the Passover on which they ate the produce of the land, the manna ceased. No longer was there manna for the Israelites, who that year ate of the yield of the land of Canaan. The book of Joshua is the first of historical books and opens with God's commissioning of Joshua. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, into the land which I am giving to them, to the sons of Israel. Chapter 5 is devoted to the Israelites' preparation prior to entering and securing the promised land. Gilgal, which means rolling, is a place in the Jordan River Valley not far from Jericho. Gilgal was the Israelites' first camp after they crossed the Jordan, and where the twelve stones were set up as a memorial of their crossing. They celebrated the first Passover in the Promised Land. This was the second time God had parted the waters in their second new beginning. The Red Sea was crossed and the people went from slavery to freedom. Crossing the Jordan was a new beginning as permanent landholders rather than landless desert nomads. For the past 40 years, God had fed his people with manna, which would now stop because the people had no further need of it. They were in the promised land. God can and does provide for his people when and if needed. But he also expects his people to use their God-given talents and resources to provide for themselves. This reading tells us how the people have decided to return to godly ways. And, as we know, the blessings of the Lord will abundantly fall upon them.